Alrighty, let's get started here. And you know, today I'm going to take this radio with me. Because I'm trying to listen for when the helicopter is coming. Supposedly this thing's supposed to warn me. So let's get this equipped. I'm going to carry it around with me all day. Alright. Oh yeah, what day is it? It is day 25. And today we have a very, very special trip planned. I'm going to take an armed patrol of survivors out. So what is my aiming? Level 9. So I can use any gun at will. Which is great. But I'm going to take an armed patrol of survivors out. So I need to bring my own guns. I need to bring some survivors with guns. We're going to try that again. Need to bring some survivors with melee weapons, some of my warriors. Last night I went through all of their skills and equipped them appropriately uh, for the coming conflict. And you know what guys, I think we're going to have to say goodbye to the Remington shotgun. It's time to put it down. Better used in the hands of another survivor that doesn't have any aiming skill. But it was fun while we had it. We still have some more ammo for it. Speaking of ammo, let's am analyze how much ammo we got. And that will tell me which gun I want to pick. So I'm thinking 44 Magnum for the survivors. And I'll take 38 Special. see how much of it I actually have. This is the least full chest. This one's completely full. Uh, not 308, oh, 38 special. Uh, oh, nine boxes of it. Alright, alright. Yeah, that's why I picked this one. I knew I'd have a lot of it. So I gotta find a good 38 pistol. And I need more 44 rounds. Maybe I'll have to pick something else. Let's, let's see what else we got. A bunch of... Ah, oh, this one. Yeah, yep. Yeah. 180 rounds for the 44 Magnum. Okay. Now we're talking and 11 boxes. Right, so I'm going to have a ton of these rounds to hand out. Let's open this up. How many is it? 15 boxes. 26 boxes of 44 Magnum rounds. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, what we'll uses 44 magnums? Do not the lever action? No, it's 308. Then we have a. Uh, I want to give them a gun that doesn't have a clip. Because they seem to fuck up the magazines and waste their ammo somehow. Some pistols. Thirty-nine millimeter. I don't think I've even seen that kind of ammo. Well, here's a forty-four rifle with no magazine. So we'll give one of those out. I probably got a magnum in here somewhere. I could give to somebody else. Yeah, I think I'll take a Desert Eagle for myself, maybe. Let's see if there's anything better. I do need a thirty-eight special. 38 stick magazine. 30 difference between these two. I got multiple of those. There's the Magnum. How many magazines do I have? This is my magazine container. 
got one. I mean, two is enough. I can find one in a gun. What's the 380 stick mix? 30 rounds. I wonder if that'll fit in my, one of those guns. Uh, we got some 44 Magnum magazines, though. It's looking good for taking the Desert Eagle. Speed clips. Right, let's try to stick that in a gun. And let's pick a 38 special. I have any like submachine gun kind. That's what that 30 round clip seemed to be for. I don't think I have the right kind of gun for that. So we'll take one of these. I seem to have multiple of them, so I got two clips for it. Yeah, this one has a magazine in it. I can't put the uh, the 30 round clip in it. Please make sure. Yeah, no. Take these back. Oh, yeah. Do I need to be recording all this? Probably not. But I just wanted to show off all my guns. So this is the first time I've really like taken stock of what I have. I've mostly just been throwing it all in here. I gotta pick a new gun. Yeah, it's a very important decision. I'm gonna be using it for a while. Yeah, let's get this thing loaded. Yeah. Yeah. Is it actually good? I gotta get the Desert Eagle too. But yeah, it's pretty much the guns I'm going to be using. Desert Eagle, this Smith & Wesson Bodyguard for the 38 Special, and the Machete, so I can carry this radio around. And then I'm going to pick five or six survivors to come with me as a fighting force. I'm going to give two of them guns. And the rest of them will just be equipped with normal weapons. So yeah, I'll save you guys watching me gather them up and hand out all the equipment and everything. So we'll just skip ahead to when we head out. And sure enough, here we are. Me, all three of my veterans. Peter, Lucy, somebody else that I can't read their name. They're all very important and valued members of the team. <laughs> and two of them have guns. One of them has the, uh, the Henry single shot. One of them has a Magnum handgun. And they gave, I gave them three boxes of ammo each and opened the boxes of ammo for them. So I think that might have been some of the problem too. It's like they were messing up the open box function. So we're going to try it out. We'll see if they shoot this time. I am more than thoroughly armed enough myself to deal with anything uh, that we would need guns for. And we're going to see how these guys fight. Alright guys, it's game time. Is there any zombies around here? So we're just going on a, you know, an armed patrol around the neighborhood to try to kill all the zombies. See if any migrated in, see if there's any lingering hordes. The huge. So they keep, keep getting more zombies towards the police station, so they gotta be coming from somewhere. Maybe we can find where they're coming from. Oh, 
this gun has a long range. They're shooting. Ah, that's good. But this gun has a really long range. Ooh, PvP forced on. I hear gunshots. Are there hostiles around here? Good thing I brought the survivors. These guys make great meat shields against hostile survivors. In fact, that might be a good use for these guys right now. I was taking them on a zombie patrol, but I might take them on an anti-hostile survivor patrol instead. Because there should be like the gas station owner and a couple bandits down here. Some assholes. Let's eat, eat some burger. I'm weighed down, but that's because I have too much ammo. Best place to store ammo is in zombies. Oh, what the hell? What's going on here? Okay. Didn't have a magazine in for some reason. Okay, there should be a gas station owner in here. One of the unique ones that snuck by, got generated somehow. I don't know, there's a lumberjack in there. That's weird. Let's be very careful. Find some more ammo storage. All of our guns are loaded up. Everything's ready. And let's see what there is to be seen. There's a zombie. Take that out so I'm not aiming at it. Oh, we're getting a broadcast on our radio. Blackout, no shit. No, looks like they may have killed him. Lumberjack may have came out on top here. Some more zombies. Weather broadcast. Kinda helpful, I guess. They... I think I've been getting warnings of a storm, though. I keep an eye out for warnings of a storm. Hey, Lumberjack. Come over here. Yo, Lumberjack. Wanna, wanna join the team? Come join us. No. Come on, man. Lumberjack, don't be like that. What if, hold on, what if I give you this mustard, huh, huh, and I'll even, no, okay, I'll even throw in this water bottle, how about now, yeah, yeah, welcome to the team, Lumberjack, alright, come along, we're going on an armed patrol, let's go, uh oh, I shot one of my own guys, but my own guys seem to be stuck. Um, where's medical check? Having the brain fried here. Fetter and Steven, I'm trying to save you. Uh, he's not shot. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Let's uh, keep going here. We hear gunshots. So there are hostiles over there. I know those guys had guns. That's a lot of guns. Uh, but we have guns too, and they will run out of ammo. Before we do. Where even are these guys? I think I remember I have to do something here. Attack. I'm gonna set my guys to attack. Attack! And. Oh, actually. I think only two of them have guns, so there's a bandit. Alright, uh, everyone use guns that has one. I'm trying to 
get him. There's a bandit. Bandit guys, get him. Uh oh. Julie, what are you doing? Oh, she's got a 9mm. I found her with one. I forgot. Uh, Lucy, get him. Get him, Lucy. Uh, you're letting him get away. Come on, Lucy. Oh, man. Julie, you have a gun. Shoot her. Alright, I'm gonna head her off at the pass, guys. Okay, head her off at the pass. I hope. Oh, she's stuck. And Julie finally put her down. Yeah, we made a lot of noise, and I think we've lost track of a few of our survivors. Hey, hey, don't, don't shoot me. Ooh, there's a, a wild Douglas. Take this. We got him, guys. Good job. Where did my survivors with guns go? It's my two veterans. So those two veterans would have came in real handy with guns right here. Julie was the only one. She didn't. She wasn't even supposed to have that gun. But at least she used it. All right, let's look for these other guys. How that? They go. Let's put some more ammo out. So I can keep it in my backpack and just keep pulling it out as we need it. 120 rounds. Just casually pull out 120 rounds for my gun. Oh, another bandit. Let's get him, guys. Oh, they're pushing me forward. Get a meat shield. Oh, brutal. Peter, man. I knew there was something wrong with you, Peter. <laughs> I still hear somebody going on with a shotgun. Getting another weather broadcast. Tropical storm imminent. ETA five days. Okay, that's good to know. I could build some rain barrel collectors in time for it. Oh, there's another hostel over there. I need to find my veterans. Where are my veterans? There's a lumberjack? Wait. I have a lumberjack. This looks like a way cooler lumberjack. I wish I'd convince you to join my team. I just got firefighter gear, a full backpack, an axe. Way better than this lumberjack. Wanna join me? No. I don't I don't have enough resources to convince her to join us. So uh yeah. Oh, there's my veterans. Oh, they're still stuck like this. Oh, uh, yeah, they're bugged out. Well, I just gotta turn the game off and on again. He'll oh, probably be okay. And let's see if they are. Yeah, looks like they're alright. Everybody use guns. Lumberjack, man. I hate to leave you behind, Lumberjack, but... I mean, I guess it looks like you're capable to take care of yourself. I really don't have enough to convince you to come with us. I'll just take your other Lumberjack brethren along. Just willing to let Spiffo into their heart. Alright. Where the hell were these other assholes? It's still only 15.30. So plenty of time to keep doing our armed patrol. Got some zombies. Only 
only four of them. Hey! Man, veteran, veteran Steven was plugging away. Oh, he did it again. All right. Maybe we're in business here. Nice. Oh, thank you. Veteran Steven, what the hell is going on here? It doesn't have a magazine in it. I said reload. Whatever. Oh, fuck, a savior. Veteran Caitlin, disappointing showing. We're gonna have to talk about that at your review later. We're supposed to be covering our rear. We'll let a savior get right in there. So that was one asshole with a pistol. I think. Killed the asshole with a shotgun. So is that it? There are two assholes with pistols. So we killed shotgunny, we killed pistol. I think there's another pistol. What do you got here? Alright, well, we want to keep kind of going this way anyway. It would be best hook back towards base, just so we're not so far away. Because it does take a little while to walk these guys around. I have too many of them with me to take in a car. Uh, looks like we're getting another automated emergency broadcast. Just another weather bulletin. Nothing we haven't heard before. Theoretically, this thing's supposed to tell me when the helicopter's coming. I'm trying to test it out, though. I'm trying to not let it out of my sight. Let's see if it really does warn you. Go ahead, let's get this guy. He's the big gun. I'm going to keep swapping back and forth between the big gun and the little gun. The uh, Desert Eagle is good for killing the other survivors. I think the uh, 38 Special is going to have a lot longer legs, a lot more ammo for it. And my survivors are using up 44 Magnum, which is great. And not just like using it up, wasting it, like just using it up. Putting it in zombies where it belongs. So yeah, I feel pretty good. But this gives me an idea. Maybe, maybe I should take these guys to the gun store. What do you think? I got them properly equipped. I got enough of them. And that might be the thing to do. It doesn't look like there's any zombies around here. I thought this place was going to be mobbed. Because it kind of was the last time I was here. Maybe those survivors killed them all. Because they do start with a lot of ammo. Like, I think they have 95 rounds of 9mm. Which, if they have a good aiming skill, that's 95 zombies killed. I mean, less, so you never get exact one for one with a nine millimeter. But pretty darn close if you have a good aiming skill. You know, we are right here. I think I'm gonna do it. 1620. We got enough time to do it. Yeah. I don't have a sledgehammer. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to change my option because I want to give them all a different order. I'm going to change this to order all stand, stand ground. Everybody stay here. It's a good place for you, right? Nice and safe. I'm going to run back to base and grab the sledgehammer. Whew. 
Oh, all right, guys. Come on, let's let's go. Whew. Man. Yeah. So now I'm exhausted. <laughs> But that shouldn't affect your shooting at all. So we're gonna go ahead anyway. And we're gonna go break into the gun store and kill everyone inside and take all their stuff. Aaron Stevens still turning off zombies. Take your style. Let me make sure that I have enough 44 rounds out. Yeah, I got... I got some... Some magazines to reload here for sure. Yeah, they're all mixed and matched and mismatched. Oh. Steven, you you locking on to something? What do you hear, boy? <laughs> Twiggies, and there's the gun store, yep, and there's the assholes inside who are not willing to let Spiffo into their hearts and, and said, in fact, they said Spiffo is just a stupid raccoon. So, yeah, we're gonna have to kill them all. There's a bunch of zombies around here. So, we're gonna have to kill the zombies first. Then break in and kill the assholes. And we got less than three hours to do it. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. What could go wrong? Let's get these guys properly positioned, though. I think I've found in other series is if you tell your guys with guns to stand their ground and then lure zombies to them, they are devastatingly effective. So I am going to stand people with guns. Yeah, let's see, there he goes. I'm going to use the big gun to make a lot of noise and draw them in. And then he should be able to just... Yeah, he's doing it. All right, this is encouraging. We got company coming, of course. But that's why I brought survivors. I have company of my own. We got Lucy, Peter, Colin. And my veterans. Wait, where is veteran Caitlin? Veteran Caitlin is not with us. Damn it, Caitlin, where did you go? I gave her a gun. She has the Magnum. Now I have to be the Magnum. Although the 44 single shot Henry is doing Quite a number on these guys. It's going pretty good. And I think that we might just be badass enough to kill our way up there and then kill our way in there. If we do it right. You just gotta stop every now and then so that they'll shoot. They won't shoot while walking. What's going on with this gun? What's wrong with it? I don't have magazines for it. Get those out. I'm gonna need them. There we go. Looks like there's two of them in there. But they can't get out and no one can get in. No, you're mine. Alright, can I destroy the wall? Yep. Alright, there's one guy right there. Let's go. Uh, 
Ooh. Uh, I chickened out. Oh, man. Okay, now we gotta do it all over again. Oh, no, there's zombies coming. Good thing I brought survivors with me. Can we shoot through the window? Get rid of this stupid destroy targeting. No, I don't have PvP on. Can we shoot through the window? Oh, we got zombies coming around the side. Oh, we took care of them. I don't know, it looks like we can't shoot through the window. Well, let's break in and get him. Got him, guys! Zombies coming! Oh god, I can't get a clear shot. There's more zombies coming! I got one! Oh no! He's shooting! I oh, got Julia! Oh no! She's still up! Guys! What are, what are you? What are we doing here? Who are you? Who are you shooting at? Steven, did you get bit? Oh no, they're, they're getting bit again. Oh, they got Steven. Oh no. Heavy casualties. We've lost half our numbers. Oh god, Steven, he's getting back up. Good job, guys. It was at a heavy price, but we've won. Uh, Damien Dillard, he's a pacifist. He must have hated seeing all this. That's why he had to bring other people with him. Because he couldn't, just couldn't handle it himself. Anyway, let's see what we got in the gun store here, huh? I hear more zombies. Colin, Lucy, and Lumberjack, and the survivors. And veteran Caitlin, wherever she may be. She's MIA. There's a lot of good stuff in here, though. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm not going to be able to take any of it. I'm just, I was just here to capture it. Some cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Just taking a quick read through, seeing what we got here. Did I see correctly that there was a grenade launcher in there? <laughs> anyway, we are we can barely even run, so let's just take a breather here, guys. All right, it's 1900. We gotta get back to base. It's gonna be dark soon. The zombies are gonna start running. All of our people with guns just died, uh, but I'm here. Don't worry. I will lead you safely. <laughs> I will lead you safely back to the base and totally not use you as a meat shield if it's convenient along the way. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to come back for the bodies of our fallen comrades and give them a proper burial. But they'll understand that we just didn't have enough time. Like the zombies were gonna eat our faces. And we're gonna have to just come back for them tomorrow. Oh, I hear zombies. Just to pick off any stragglers we find. I'm really liking this uh, Smith & Wesson bodyguard. It's got a super long range. And it seems to one-shot them pretty good, but I also have level 9 aiming. So that helps a lot. And I have level, eight, level 9 aiming because I sped up the experience game, or the experience gain for my game. Because it's my game and I'll do what I want.
I would think, after killing thousands of zombies, that he would be pretty proficient with a gun. Just saying. But we just gotta level up in sprinting, probably. Our crops are coming along, our farmers are farming. Things are looking up, guys. Bad news, everyone. All our veterans either dead or MIA. Also, Peter died, but I don't think we're gonna actually miss him. You guys, anybody? No? Yeah, fuck that guy, he was an asshole. We're still gonna go get him and bury him, though. But, yeah. I'd say this is a pretty good day. Just gonna spend the rest of it uh, fucking around with my survivors, reading, cooking, figuring out what I'm gonna do next. So, yeah. That was a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. And I'll catch you next time for another day in World War Z.